Good morning, everyone, and thank you for yet again joining my channel. This is your ordinary Jaysh. I am scheduled for a tonsillectomy today, so you're about to see Jaysh have her first surgery. This introduction sucks because I'm in public and I hate doing vlogs in public, but I'm at the store and I have to get my food and my soups and my puddings and all that good stuff. So. Did not have time because I was too busy protesting and doing all this other stuff this week. And, you know, just trying to change the world. So, I'm doing it now. And uh, it's like 8 o'clock on Monday morning. And, um, yeah, so let's get it started. Let's get into it. Tons of life to me. No big deal. It's going to be great. Let's stay tuned. Well, I'm back home. Pam is here. Say hi, Mom. Who is it? My vlog. Oh, what's up, y'all? <laughs> She's gonna take me to and fro um, from the operation today. So she's here. She's gonna help me out today. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have such a good time. But all right. What'd you say? Don't know why you vlogging about this, but okay. It's important. The people need to know. The people need to know that I'm okay. No, they don't. They're gonna be all right. <laughs> she's very disrespectful, so just. <laughs> Don't even pay attention to her because she's the most disrespectful lady ever. <laughs> Actually, only disrespectful to me. Half of y'all don't even know the side of a Pam, but she's mean. What else do you have to say to the people? That God is real. He is real and he is in control. Don't you ever forget that. I forgot she's also very saintly. So we'll check back in once we get to the place. I got a bear. But I didn't get surgery today because they couldn't get, what is it called, Mom? Intubation. They couldn't get the intubation tube down my throat. Apparently, I have the neck or throat of a 95-year-old woman. So that's my doctor. So I have to go back on Wednesday and try again. Good morning, everyone. It is round two of Jace Gets Her Tonsillectomy. So here I am with my baby. It's almost time, guys. It's round two. I'm iced out. Iced out. Everybody, all your information. <laughs> I'm pre-op <up> lit. <laughs> she back. Post up. What's up? She laughed. She ain't get her tonsils off. She got a Brazilian butt lift. <laughs> they put me on perks. Percocet. Molly Percocet. Rep a set. Gotta rep a set. <laughs> so, I'm back home now. And my tonsils are out. That's really all I have to say. Ew. I don't know what that is. It's not coming off. Hashtag post op. Hashtag we out here. Hashtag lit. I'm very tired. I have to wait to go get my prescription. It hurts to swallow right now, but not too terribly bad. Stay tuned. This is day one, post-op. Ew, I look gross. Ugh. I anticipate that I'll be sleeping a bunch. I'm surprised that I can talk, but we'll see how the day goes on. We lit. Anesthesia is awesome. So yeah, no more tonsils. That's so freaking cool, you see that? They're gone, I'm so happy. All right, I'm out of here. Hey y'all, it's Jage from the bed. I don't know what I've already said, but I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I haven't slept yet, so I still have all the anesthesia in me. So now I just get to lay here, watch the office, and eat loads of pudding, which I'm super excited about. We know how much I love food. So, thanks for tuning in. I'll be posting more. I mean, I'll be sharing more of, of the days of recovery. This is day one. So, yeah. Um, I'll check back in tomorrow. Good morning. It's day two. Post op. What a crazy two days it has been. Ooh. 
I feel like I'm gonna just have to do a voiceover because this is hard. Feeling good, feeling great. Am I in a lot of pain? Not really. But also, I'm a Kingdom's kid, so things go different for me. Just saying. But all those people that say it's like this is about to be the worst two weeks of your life. It's not that serious at all. It's uncomfortable, yes, but does it hurt that bad? No. Like like my doctor gave me Percocets at the highest like amount that you could take it. I only touched it once. Mind you, it's only day two. But it's really not that bad. I would just pray it stays like this. Right now I just got some like neck pain and stuff. But I'm chilling. I still have like a little bit of anesthesia left in me because yesterday was a crazy day. So I didn't get a lot of sleep. But but yeah, if this is as bad as it gets, I'm not gonna complain at all. I feel pretty good. Now I'm just gonna watch some movies, I think, while my sister cleans my house. So that's day two. Stay tuned. Good morning. It is day three. Post op. Stuff's getting wild. It's getting crazy out here. Um, yesterday I couldn't really talk that much. Just because there was a lot going on in here. Um, and today it feels a little bit better. Uh, but also a little bit worse. It feels a little bit more raw today. Mind you, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. Last night was low-key rough around like 3 or 4 in the morning. Like I just kept getting a freaking tickle in the back of my freaking throat. Which was mad annoying. And my lips is ashy and I don't care. But that's neither here nor there. I just kept getting like a tickle in my throat and stuff. And like having to cough. Which luckily I didn't do too much. I didn't like hack my lungs out. But um, I just want to take a second to thank God. Because these last three days haven't been the worst. Um, I've watched some videos and people are really going through it. And I gotta be honest, I haven't taken one paid med since I've been here. And God is just good. Um, but yeah, we'll see how things go. They say that days three through seven get a little rough. And I can feel some like muscle like stuff going on. As long as, long as I keep my dad on mouth closed, I should be fine. It's like all this right here inside. And like around this area I feel pretty nasty and it's like bro I tell you freaking what like this phlegm is no joke that's my biggest issue like the pain is not the problem it's the phlegm like but you got me out here thinking I'm dying thinking I'm drowning and it's just freaking gunk in the back of my throat like that crap is annoying but yeah so might shower today might not might wash my hair today probably won't but my mom will be back today, and I'm really excited to see her. Um, I like her a lot. She's nice. But anyway, here's to day three. Let's get it. We got this. God is good. We're killing it, honestly. So, boom. Good evening. It is approximately 8.30 on day three. Today has been kind of chill. Um, I've just been literally, like, on this couch all day. Um... Jamie Houston in Brazil came over um, to help me out a little bit, which was really freaking great. They're so amazing. I didn't even have to like call them. I knew they were going to show up at some point. They do that all the time. I really appreciate them. That really helps because I got to take a shower. I don't know why. I don't know. I just didn't want like anything weird to happen if I took a shower by myself, so I just didn't take one because uh, I just been kind of feeling like just still kind of like out of body kind of. I know the anesthesia is supposed to wear off like 24, 48 hours. But I just felt like still, I don't know, just still kind of weird and like dizzy and like just kind of out of it. So um, I didn't want anything weird to happen or like to fall and me be by myself. Um, but yeah, so then they came over, they hung out with sugar. And so now I'm just kind of chilling. Um, the pain is, it's kind of been like up and down. Also eating one of these. It's been up and down today. It hasn't been like excru excruciating. Um, I definitely felt those scabs or whatever they want to call them definitely felt those kind of act up a little bit today but because I took a nap and then I woke up and I guess it was dry or something um and it it wasn't fun 
for like five minutes, but it really wasn't that serious. The main issue I'm still having is just phlegm. Like, it's just freaking build up back there and like, just like, constantly freaking hawking loogies, bro. It's freaking disgusting. Ugh. It's so gross. But I didn't know to not buy ice cream and dairy products until after I bought all of them. So I'm like, I'm going to eat it. But yeah, so mommy's coming. She's going to come bring me some mac and cheese. Um, and it's going to taste great. And I've never been so excited for mac and cheese in my entire life. Uh, but I'm doing really good. God is great. God is amazing. Um, I'm just trying to rest, actually rest mentally too. Because I know there's still a lot going on in the world. Um, it's, I've literally not been on my phone all day because it's just it's just out of control. So, but God is with me. God is with my family. God is with my friends. God is with you. And um, I'm gonna recover. And I will hit y'all up when I get to day four. Love ya. Good morning. It is day four of recovery. I feel much better today. I just talked to my mom. And I was just telling her that, like, I still feel the anesthesia real heavy. And um, she was just telling me that they did have to give me two, like, doses of that or whatever because I had to do an awake intubation. I don't know if I've already talked about that in the previous days, but basically they had to put the breathing tube inside my body while I was awake and then put me all the way under. So um, just getting over this has been, like, fine like I'm not in that much pain I don't feel like but I just feel really like out of body <laughs> and that's the only thing that like I wish was over kind of I just want to be back to my normal self but I have been eating macaroni and cheese um, and ice cream and popsicles and my mommy's here today to help me out so that's good we might go on a walk later but I feel good. Like, I feel good. It was a little bit swollen this morning. Um, and my tongue was just, like, hanging out my mouth like this. But I had some popsicles since then. And um, I promise I've been changing my shirt. This is not the same shirt. I keep wearing gray, but I promise they're different shirts. But anyways, um, yeah. But I hope I can get on a walk today or something like that. And just get my juices flowing or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Day four, feeling good, watching a lot of Disney Plus. I'll see you on day five, unless something cool happens today. But bye. Good morning. <clears throat> it is day six, I believe. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, it's day five. That's it. It takes forever. Anyways, so today's day six. I mean five. I'm feeling okay. I just my mom mentioned to me that I've had like. A lot of anesthesia still, so I'm just waiting for all that to leave my freaking body. It feels like I've been drunk for a week. My strength is just like not there. Sugar almost slipped out of my hands a couple times this week. I tried to open up a pudding thing, and that took like literally five minutes. Yeah, it's just like my body is just like. Ugh. As far as like my actual, as far as my actual throat, this side feels fine this side sucks I think it's because I do a lot of eating over here and over there and yesterday I thought I was in the clear kind of so I did a little too much and I saw that after like the fourth day you have cereal Ow. so I went to go get cereal and I ate a lot of cereal <laughs> Cheerios to be exact also don't mind the twist out so, How did I not bring my darn body wash? I'm trying to vlog. Can you oh, please? Well. So anyways, I got a new shirt. It's orange. But I think me and mom are going to try to take a walk today. Just to like get some juices flowing. Because we didn't go yesterday. Because we went to the store. And like I just wanted to lay down the entire time. Like I was just like, I got to get out of here. So that didn't work out that good. So, um, so today I'm going to try to like take a walk and see if that helps um get some strength back or something i'm ready for it to be over though i know that i need a cheeseburger another thing i tried to eat a meatball and some spaghettios did that mess me up i was doing fine the cereal went well like the pudding went well for the day or whatever but 
that freaking meatball, man. Meatball messed me up. That meatball messed me up, man. That meatball. It didn't matter how much I tried to chew that thing up. It hurt. It was just real scratchy. Like, come on, Campbell's or whoever makes SpaghettiOs. Like, do better. But anyways, I digress. And then uh, I tried to sleep last night. That didn't go well. I just woke up like every 30 minutes because I was just like coughing and stuff. And I think my throat was getting dry. And I think these scars are starting to like do something. It's Sunday, the Lord's Day. We're going to try to have a good day. Hopefully we go shopping today. I might try to go shopping because after I do my hair, of course. But I'm going to try to go shopping because um, why not? So yeah, day five. Good morning, good morning. Um, I am back with day six. I'm feeling really good. I did a little exercise in the morning because my mom told me that, that you know, getting the juices flowing is what's gonna get rid of the anesthesia. So I did a little walk fit video. <laughs> Felt like a little senior citizen. It was fun and it wore me out a little bit, um, but it was good. It got the juices flowing. As the day went on, I kind of felt the anesthesia wearing off and I finally feel like 100% me again. Um, either that or I'm used to the anesthesia. But yes, so um, as far as like physically, I feel good. My body feels good. I think I'm ready to go back to work. I go back to work tomorrow. The only thing that's left to get in intact is my actual throat. And I say that because it just hurts to talk. Ah, that hurts right there. Ouch. So I haven't, I've saved up all my mouthwash, my magic mouthwash. And I guess I'll try to use that at work. They never said that I couldn't talk. Uh, we just said just make sure that you're drinking a bunch of water and fluids. Um, so I'm gonna try to just use my mouth. Uh, I'm gonna try to use my mouthwash at work every four hours as instructed um, to um, help with the healing process and make sure that I'm able to talk to residents and um, ooh, and my coworkers, of course. I'm sad that my vacation is over. <laughs> but as far as pain levels and things like that. Like I said, um, it hasn't been uh, excruciating for me at least. So like I have had tonsil pain a lot. So I don't know if I'm just used to it. And also I can deal with pain as long as it's not ongoing. Um, I only have the pain when I swallow. So if I'm not like in continuous pain, I really don't care. I don't need any pain meds for that. Um, so, and I've had strep though before. So like just dealing with that pain is not hard for me. Um, as long as it doesn't hurt continuously, like a headache or like back pain or something like that. Um, so I really miss cheeseburgers. <laughs> Side note, I just thought about a cheeseburger. And I really miss uh, Chick-fil-A. Um, and I really want to get back to eating soon. But yeah, I don't know when that'll be. But anywho, today I'm going to do my hair because it's been in this bonnet for a while now. So that needs to be done. I'm also going to um, go shopping today. I need a few things for the house, and you know, I might even wash my car, but let me not try to overdo it, because I always end up overdoing something, like me with that meatball. <laughs> but today's going to be productive, it's going to be a great day, and um, I'm going to vlog tomorrow at work too, throughout the day, because um, I hope it doesn't hurt like heck to go in there and talk to people. So I'm going to try to enjoy some TV and some water. Um, oh, oh, also diet update. So like I said, I tried to eat a meat, ah, I tried to eat a meatball and that didn't go well. I also had cereal at some point and it went well, but I got used to just like chewing and eating cereal. So I just continued to eat cereal and cereal only. And I think that kind of irritated my throat a little bit. So I reverted back yesterday to just straight up ice cream pudding and water so we're not making much progress <laughs> but this is day six and the anesthesia is gone um and that's about all we have accomplished <laughs> uh, oh and the phlegm is gone and so yeah so we're doing okay i just have to it just needs to actually like ugh, like freaking heal already but I thank God. I can't even complain because I thank God because it could have been worse. Everybody I've seen is just out here just like, dang, they're dying. And 
I did not. But yes. Um, so I'll check back in with you tomorrow when I get ready to go to work. And yeah. And thank you for bearing with this ugly. <laughs> Straight home value with it. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey guys, um, it's your ordinary Jaysh. And it is day five, six, day six, part two. I wanted to talk to you guys because I decided to hit the street to the town and um, I don't regret it one bit. I'm having a great freaking time. Not to mention my hair, I did those little twists that you saw a couple days ago and they turned out like the best they have in like an entire year. Like they have never looked like this. They have never looked like this. And so I just wanted to get that information out there. But yeah, so God is good, God is great. And I am now shopping. Might go get my nails done. Don't know for sure. But that's it for day five or six, whatever. Bye bye. All right, good morning, good folks. It is day seven of my recovery, and I am headed to work today. Um, I feel good. Um, I look good. <laughs> I uh, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work today. <clears throat> and I sound kind of back to regular. I'm feeling good about this. I'm taking my magic mouthwash and my perkies just to make sure I'm not in excruciating pain while I'm there talking to folks. Um, so yeah. And yes, I'm standing in front of the window so that I can have immaculate light because that's period. But nevertheless, um, I feel back 100% myself physically, um, and my throat isn't hurting as bad as I thought it would be today. So, I'm going to drink a lot of water, I pack a lot of fruit, fruity um, jellos, and things like that. I just hope that I can, like, be heard. I hope people, sorry, I hope people can hear me, because I can't really talk really loud, so, but we'll see. So, going to work. Here we go. So, someone sent me cupcakes. To my job but I don't know who and I'm kind of sad because I still can't eat these but nevertheless I'm gonna see who did this I'm gonna set you up over here so. we make them small so you can try them off but who sent them thank you I knew it was from a resident look how freaking cute this is <laughs> Thanks. Oh my gosh, they're small. They're mini cupcakes. I think there's a note. Let's see. It's the little thing. I knew it was from Tara. <laughs> yeah. She says, Jay Sherelle, thank you so very much for helping me with uh, finding the perfect apartment, as well as making sure I have everything I need before I make the move to Ohio. I appreciate it so very much. Looking forward to meeting you on June 20th. Oh my God. <laughs> Jessica. Hey, These cupcakes had nothing to do with Jay's surgery, and it's from a move-in. What? That haven't even moved in yet. What? <laughs> we clicked from the day we had a tour, and I was like, this is gonna be my home skillet right here. Yeah, look how cute this is. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, look at those cute little minis. Oh, that's so nice of them. She loves me, bro. She loves me, bro. She probably does. Yeah. Yes. This is awesome. I'm so grateful. Okay. So I forgot to vlog on my lunch break sorry but i can still tell you about how work went today um it was really great it was a lot better than i expected it to be i thought i was going to be in a bunch of pain from talking <clears throat> the only thing i realized as you just heard <laughs> in that last sentence is that there's like a lot of gunk that like builds up as i talk but as far as pain it's pretty regular um it's not anything that's out of the ordinary um and i just sound like I just swallowed seven marshmallows. Um, other than that, work was really, really good. And I just ate my macaroni and cheese. And I ate my pudding. And, and, and I ate a few <laughs> of those um, cupcakes that that future resident got me. 
So that was really cool. So I tried that. I'm like, let me test it out. I mean, I'm doing really great today, so let's just see. And it didn't hurt at all. And they had like chocolate chips on top of them and everything. And it didn't hurt at all. It felt fine going down, wash it down with some water. It didn't feel bad. So cupcakes are good on day seven. So yeah, so that's day seven. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I'll let y'all know how that goes and what he says as far as like my recovery and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it for day seven. See y'all tomorrow. Okay, it is day eight of post-op surgery stuff. And um, today has been the best one yet. Um, yesterday, like I said, it really hurt to talk but I just did it anyway. And for some reason, I don't know if it was like the fact that I was like babying or babysitting my wounds or whatever, but me talking a bunch yesterday and just moving that stuff around and like moving those muscles must have helped it because I felt so much better this morning, so normal this morning. I didn't feel like my throat was 100%, but I did feel a lot better today. Um, when I woke up, which is surprising because that's usually when it's the worst. And I was like, dang, I feel good today. And also my hair isn't too terribly nappy. I know it looks like it, but my edges have been sweated out just a little bit. Been running around all day. Whew. But anyways, so yes. And then, oh my gosh, um, I went to see Dr. Willett today. I had a doctor's appointment. Um, it was such a great time. I gave him a card because he's so amazing. And he just told me about the procedure and everything like that and how it went. Because I guess I don't remember a lot of stuff that happened. But I guess there was a lot that happened. So um, he said that during the procedure, uh, not during the procedure, but before the procedure with the intubation too. Because like I said, I had to do, I had to do the intubation awake. He said that the tube like it was just the hardest thing ever to get like the tube down my throat so even though i was awake um uh he said it was really hard so he classified my um my throat or whatever as difficult <laughs> um so but yeah uh, so he said that they ended up putting like the tube down my esophagus and like he said that they got it in there like it was a blind thing he said they kept trying to put air in there and it was like my stomach was filling up with air and he said they, they tried a few times but they finally got it down like with the grace of the good lord so um that's good so they did get it down there but he classified it as very difficult to do so he's just going to send me a letter if i ever get another procedure to uh let them know that it's going to be hard to get the tube down um and then second unbeknownst to me he had my tonsils sent to um, just like a cancer research center and had them checked for cancer because they were literally that big. Um, so I don't know if I put a picture of them in here, but I'll go ahead and do that now if I haven't. Um, but yeah, so they were that big and so he had to have them sent over, but praise the Lord, to, sorry, there was no cancer inside the, the tonsils. Um, so thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so then he checked my actual tonsils and everything in my ears and stuff like that. And um, I am good to go. So there's no restrictions. I can eat whatever I want. So I'm cooking tonight. I know you heard that. I am cooking. Get girls finna eat. <laughs> no more pudding. No, well, I'm gonna eat the rest that I have. But no more jello. I can go back to regular solid foods. So God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for what's about to be on my plate. Amen. So that's the update. That is, I think this is going to be the last day, honestly. Um, I asked him how long it would take for me to get back to 100% normal, and he said that it's going to take two months. But we'll see if it actually takes two months. Because, I mean, it's only been eight days. This is day eight, and I'm feeling amazing. So it's still, like, some soreness in here, and there's still, like, I mean, I know my voice probably still sounds different, um, but, I mean, this that's pretty much it. There's no more anesthesia in my body. Um, I'm not in any pain to where I didn't have to take any medication whatsoever. I took the magic mouthwash once because I was like, I didn't pay for it. Might as well take it. <laughs> so I took that once, but I didn't need it. I mean, of course it was a little bit painful, but like it wasn't anything outside of like strep or maybe strep. My strep was just that bad to where I can endure seven days of tonsillectomy recovery with no medication. But yeah, so I just got a full prescription of uh, perks and... 
everything to do with those. So that is it. I don't think there's anything else for me to say. Uh, God has been amazing through this entire thing. And my recovery was quick as I prayed for. My recovery was pain minimal as I paid, as I prayed for. Um, and God is good. I'm just really, really grateful. He's amazing. Um, so man, I tell you prayer works. Prayer freaking works. One week, I'm back at work. I'm doing great. And I told Dr. Willett that um, I didn't have to take any medication. And he was just like, All right, like no medication at all. And I was like, I haven't taken a single perk, like not a single one. And he was like, um, you are the only 23 year old that I've ever dealt with that has never had to take a narcotic at all. And I was like, I'm just a soldier, you know what I'm saying? The army of the Lord, like I can handle it. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's been your Ordinary Jage throughout the week. If you liked the video, subscribe. If you liked the video, comment. Tell me how much you liked it. Tell me if you're getting your tonsils taken out. Tell me your experience. Oh, also, it's still kind of a little bit weird to swallow, but like not like super like difficult like it was. And I ate some cheese puff today and it felt great. I had Oreos today and it felt great. And it tasted amazing. So yeah, she's back in action, baby. But yes, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know how your tonsillectomy went in the comments below for sure. Or share this with somebody who's about to have a tonsillectomy and they're freaking out because it's really not that bad. It's really not that deep. But yes, have a great day. Bye. Hello. It is day nine. And I just wanted to show you this last thing. I know I was supposed to end the vlog yesterday, but I just wanted to show you this last thing. Here is my prescription. It is completely full. As you can see, it is literally full, as you can see there. I just wanted to make sure that y'all knew I wasn't lying. Like, you can do this. You don't need the cookies. You don't need them. You can do this. Magic mouthwash is at home, but I didn't like it because I always felt like I was drowning anyway. So even if I did need it, I wouldn't have taken it. But you can do this. You don't need them. Stay strong. All right, that's it. I'm out.